What's up, everybody? Welcome back to BDGC. We've got some more tournament coverage for you of the 2019 Morristown Spring Fling. Please subscribe for more disc golf videos if you haven't already. Josh here, and I'm joined with tournament director Tanner Jordan. How's it going, man? Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for joining me here, man. Uh, we are playing the Blue Pins at Rotary Disc Golf Course in this final nine video. Uh, after round one, Bart Kawalewski was uh, at 26 down, Logan Bowers at 23 down, Zach Melton at 22 down, Sam Lee at 22 down as well, and Danny Parkins at 21 down. So we're gonna be starting out on hole one. We actually played a different layout. We'll tell you about that as we go along. A hole one, 570 foot hole. First on the tee, we've got Bart Kawalewski. He's a disc mania player out of uh, originally from Poland. What do you think about hole one here, Tanner? Hole one's a long one, definitely. You have to have a great tee shot to give you a look at the basket on the second shot. Uh, Bart's played great all day. Started off first round on hole one with an ace, and then went from a 41 there, shooting 17 down on the course. So he's definitely a contender in this one. Absolutely. He shot the hot round during round one. Here we have uh, Inno the Disc sponsored Logan Bowers. Uh, you've seen Logan on our channel quite a bit. Uh, lots of Tennessee State coverage with him. One of my favorite sidearms in the game. <laughs> Outstanding drive there. He's going to have a short putter approach for a birdie three. Who's this? You know this guy? I've seen him before. Kind of familiar. <laughs> so you see here, uh, everybody knows uh, Dynamic Disc sponsored Zach Melton. Uh, lefty, of course, off the tee here. He's going to have to turn something over here. Starts to turn, but it looks like it's going to flex out on him. He's going to have a lot to deal with over there on that side. There is uh, a little bit more stuff that needs to be cut out there. Hopefully in the future we'll get some of that stuff cut out. But for now, he's going to have to deal with that. Here we got Discraft sponsored Sam Lee. Sam's a 1,002 uh, rated player. He's got 30 career wins. Three of those this year. Oh, man. Oh, man. And this is a crush. I heard, I don't know if you heard this, Tanner, but I heard that it was a nuke OS. Really? Yeah, that he turned over somehow. <laughs> that was absolutely crushed. That was a great throw. Next up, we've got Danny Parkins, uh, team MVP, playing out of Cookville. Uh, 957 rated. And Danny had a great second round, shooting a 58 the hot round down here. It was over a thousand rated. It was a great round for him to come back from the chase card up to lead card and make the final nine. Yeah, absolutely. Shot the hot round as well, right? Yeah. We just wanted to show a little bit of the gallery there. We had quite a quite a bit of people following us around here, so. Uh, I know Danny, I'm pretty sure this was the first time he'd been filmed, so maybe a little bit of nerves will come into his play here. That's a great upshot yeah, right there. Yeah, parked. Bart here is going to have to flick one around. No shame in that. He's got a putt for his birdie three. Logan... Uh, in my opinion, one of the scrappiest players in the game. Like, he, if he gets in trouble, he can get himself out. It, you see there, just a flick shot right around the trees and just right under the basket. Now, Zach, as you can see here, he does have a lot to deal with with those trees there. A lot of vines still hanging down in that area. I'm gonna go with a jump putt. Almost puts it in. It's a great shot. Sam here after that outstanding drive. This is a 570 foot hole. There is a hill, so may play a little bit shorter than that, but it's still an absolute crush. Definitely over a, seven, or over a 500 foot drive yeah. there. Let's see what he can do here. Nice. Oh, wow. In the basket for an eagle. Wow. That's an outstanding shot. Let's see that again. Get a backtrack on that. 
just to put it straight out and into the chains. Nice. Absolutely great. That is an outstanding two right there. You're not going to see many twos on that hole. Probably a pretty nerve-wracking putt here for Danny. You know, like I said, I think it's the first time he's been filmed, and you see a massive gallery right there. And after after that huge putt right there, he's got to feel like he makes it. Yeah. Up and in. That's a great putt right there. Looks like Logan skipped a little further than I thought. No problems for him. Shout out to Tony Salick over there with Zach. Morristown local, great guy. Got to play on the card with Tony the first round. Had a great time. Looks like uh, three birdies and an eagle, so that's a great way to start out the final nine. We're going to be going on to hole two now. 350 foot. In my opinion, this hole plays a lot longer than 350. What, what do you think, Danny? Yeah, I do too. The thing about this hole, that, that first shot has to be perfect to get a good line at the basket. If you're a little long, you're over in the shrubs, or if you're short, you hit a tree, you got a very difficult second shot. Absolutely. So that's a good shot there. He's going to have uh, just a little flick probably from there, maybe even a jump putt. See what Bart can do here. Just a soft little hyzer placement shot here. That's, that's all you're looking for. You're just looking to park the yellow basket. If you're at the yellow basket, you're good for the upshot. Exactly. Logan going high. Seen that route before. And it works out. He gets down there into the mouth of the opening. Now, Zach, I can say uh, for myself here, this is kind of hard doing a turnover shot here. I've tried this as well. You really got to turn something to get it down in the uh, near the yellow pin. Oh, it's flexing out on him. Mm -hmm. That one, unfortunately, is going to be OB. Let's see what Daddy can do here. Once again, just going to be trying to go with a soft hyzer placement shot off the tee. Mm. Unfortunate tree hit. So most of these guys probably not playing for a two. They're probably just playing for a three. If they can make the putt, then, you know, of course that's great. But a three is a very good score on this own. Hmm. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to get up and down from there. Another good shot of the gallery there. Love seeing that many people walking around supporting the local scene. Mm. Yeah, like I said with Danny here, if that tee shot is so crucial. If you don't get that good tee shot, you struggle very much. Absolutely. He's proving your point right there. Good hyzer shot from Zach. He should be down there near the blue pin. So laughing here, Christine Jennings, uh, she walked up to Bart and said, you parked the yellow pin, easy tap in. <laughs> <laughs> and he almost put that one in as well. That's a great upshot. Absolutely. Sam looks like he's not being too aggressive, probably just trying to lay up, probably because of that right there, that roll. Danny, unfortunately, got over in some of the shrubs and uh, he's gonna have a hard shot from here. Looks like a sort of tomahawk shot here. And this I've never seen. I'm not sure if he was playing to go to the top of the hill there, but uh, you know, you definitely have some openings up there if you get to the top, so I'm not sure if that was his intention, but uh, we'll see how it worked out for him. Logan looks like he's being aggressive here, trying to take some strokes. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, Danny, like, there's a few open shots there. I mean, he's right at the mouth where uh, we normally walk up going towards hole three. 
almost puts it in. I mean, yeah. makes me think maybe he was trying for that. That opening up there at the top. Yeah. <clears throat> Sam looking to take his three and move along. Looks like he's put with that new uh, Discraft one. Mm -hmm. mm. Unfortunately, a little bit right side. Let's see what Logan can do. Yeah, Good Logan. Nice spot, Logan. Logan's definitely trying to make some moves, being only, what was it, uh, just a few strokes behind the lead here, so. Zach up and in, a little bit high. That one could have yeah. spit out with that downhill there, but fortunately it stuck. Good putt from Bart as well. Sam and Danny are going to tap theirs in here. After hole two, we actually uh, skipped hole three and uh, moved down the hill and across to hole seven, Steve. We wanted to switch it up for the final nine, make it a little bit different layout. As you can see here, hole seven is a 400 foot par four. Locals, you know, we see this, uh, we play this during doubles and stuff as a par three you know this one in my opinion should be a par three because these guys I don't know, if you did like if Bart didn't hit that right there uh, he would be up there putting so. yeah if you get past those group in the trees down there at the end you're definitely in the circle for mm -hmm. a putt absolutely most of the locals here have to this one I've to this all myself so it's you know it, it's a soft par four we'll say that Logan gonna be going with his Monster flick, as I mentioned earlier, just one of the fastest, straightest forearms in the game. And he gets up there. Uh, it looks like he's on the side of the hill there. He may be looking at a putt. Looks like maybe the same disc he threw off hole one, so maybe that nuke OS mm -hmm. again. He's yanked this one a little bit. Mm -hmm. oh. Got kicked down. Fortunately, he ended up in the fairway. There's actually a creek on the left side there. I'm not sure. Did we play that OB during mm -hmm. the tournament? No. Okay, so. Shout out to my buddy Jonathan Pickle there sitting on the, the bench there. It's looking like a great shot from Zach. Yes. You can see, I mean, he, he didn't put everything into that. He just kind of threw a soft straight shot, and, and he's got a putt definitely there. So, Danny's going to be looking to turn something over a little bit. It's looking good. Getting through everything. And he's up there on the hill as well. He's got a putt also, so. Sam after that unfortunate kick. It, it, very fortunate to be up, you know, in the fairway. There's some rough on the right and left on this hole, so you definitely want to try and stay in the fairway. Going the back door route, I've actually never seen anybody do that. No, I haven't either. That's a great shot right there. He's going to be looking at a putt from there. Bart looks to be flicking a putter. Good shot there. See Danny here putting for an eagle too, but the wind is absolutely howling. You can see on the shirt there. Mm. Unfortunately, not able to get that one. That would have been a good one there. He could have took some strokes right there, get some of those back from hole two.
Mm. Close. Uh, I heard that uh, Logan actually switched putters. He had been putting with ADRs. Did you hear anything about that? Mm-mm. Somebody said that he had switched. I can't remember what they had switched to. So maybe that, uh, you know, could have affected that putt because Logan's normally a very solid putter. Same with the comebacker for a three. So he's going to be looking at a par on this one. Zach looking for an eagle here. As we mentioned, this one, I mean, if you get a two, you could take some strokes on a majority of the field during the tournament here. So it's definitely a good two to get. Exactly how you want to play this hole. Very lefty friendly hole in my opinion. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Sam able to take his four. Logan with a birdie. Oh, unfortunate spit out. Now these uh, blue pins, this is one of the original pins here. Uh, but uh, most of the blue pins here are uh, newly re redesigned by the Morristown Disc Golf Association. And uh, some of these are really hard. So that's why we wanted to play these blue pins during the final nine. Looks like uh, one eagle, two birdies, and two pars. Moving on to hole eight, 430 feet. This kind of confused me, Zach, here. This is a perfect lefty hole, so when I saw him going for this right side gap, uh, kind of confused me a bit. I've spoke about this gap in uh, recent, uh, or past coverage, uh, mentioning that Will Schusterick used to go that way. Mm. He turned it over, it looked like a little bit of grip lock. There is a path through there, but uh, not many people are brave enough to to go for it. Zach's going to have a lot of trouble on that right side. Logan, of course, opting for the flick. That's exactly what you want. Yeah, this hole, just like hole two, you're playing first shot as a placement shot to get a decent shot at the hole on the second throw. like Danny going to the flick as well. I have seen a uh, right-hand turnover shot backhand, but it's not very common. Most uh, most right-handed players are definitely going to flick this hole. Another great shot from Danny. Look there. It's going to be a forehand. <laughs> Another great shot. The only real thing you have to worry about is going too wide. Uh, that creek that was along hole seven actually follows down through hole eight here as well. If you go too wide, you can hit and drop down into the creek, and there's trouble on that side. Another great shot. Looks like nobody got caught up on the left side. You get down in that left side down there, it's very hard to get out. I mean, you you pretty much consider it a bogey if you get down in there because there's bad footing and lots of trees. As you can see Zach here, a lot to work with, or not a lot to work with here. He's going to have to get fancy here with a overhand shot. Up and out. That's a great shot from there. Yeah. Like I said, I was very surprised to see him go through that. You know, perfect lefty hole here, in my opinion. So, I think he was just trying to take strokes, and uh, that was one way he thought he could do it. Good upshot, upshot from Bart there. <clears throat> Let's see what Danny can do. Looks like maybe a fairway driver. Maybe a mid-range. It's kind of hard to tell. 
Still got quite a bit of distance to get up there. That's a great shot yeah. from Danny. This looks like a mid or a putter by Logan. Mm -hmm. Oh, hmm. unfortunate tree hit there. Let's see what Sam can do. Looks like he's gonna go with a little bit of a turnover. Okay, so he's just hitting the left side. That's a great shot. Unfortunately, little Liam knocked it down a little bit earlier. That would have been right under the basket. As I said earlier, Logan very scrappy. He gets into trouble like this, and he's gonna get himself out. Well. Unfortunately, a tree hit there. Zach was looking at this left side gap here. Looks like the only thing he would have had besides that would have been a, a turnover with a putter or something like that. Very small gap. <laughs> That's a great throw. Yeah, absolutely. Executed perfect. Yeah. Gallery really loved that shot right there. This is for Logan's four, I believe. This would be a par putt. Definitely being aggressive here, trying not to lose any. Up and in. That's an outstanding putt right there. Let's see that one again. Get another backtrack. Also worth mentioning, Tanner here was the uh, first person to ever get a backtrack on a BDGC video. So. Nice to have him on commentary. It's Ryan's honor. <laughs> <laughs> he actually chained out for an ace, and uh, that's when I knew I had to add something. Let's see what Sam can do here. Oh, almost. These are not easy putts. These are 45 feet uphill. These are big putts. Oh, yeah, absolutely. These guys make it look easy, but these are very difficult putts. Yeah, and the camera doesn't really do, like Danny right here is probably about 20 feet, I would yeah. say, still, so the camera doesn't really do justice. I know you hear that a lot on commentary. Oh, unfortunate. A little bit high right side. Didn't stick. Love the scenery around this basket here. Those rocks and the moss on them. It's a great pin placement here. It's a great par save by Zach mm -hmm. where he was. Absolutely. Sam tapped his in, and Danny's going to do the same. Not too happy with that hole. Looks like all pars on that hole, which is actually very impressive. I, I figured with some of those shots, I figured there could potentially be a bogey. Uh, moving on to hole nine, 410 feet. This one's a, a crush as well. It takes a lot of distance to get out there. I'm gonna be going, trying to go around. Zach looks like he sawed his off a little bit. Basket's on the left, as you'll see here. It really hooks around, and uh, it, it, I'm gonna say it again. Once again, I think it plays further than 410. Definitely. <laughs> thing with these guys is they can get it out there, but the OB is so close to the basket. That's what they're scared of. Mm -hmm, absolutely. You can see on this wide angle here that uh, is about in the middle of that path right there. We, they had an o line, OB line painted. So, like Tanner said, they want to be aggressive, but not too aggressive and skip OB. Danny looking to turn something over. Mm -hmm. Would have been a good shot for the original pin, the yellow pins over there on that left side. Bart going with the flick again. Very confident in his forehand, I've noticed. Almost got around, but not quite.
Should be a good hole here for a backhand lefty here. Good shot, but it looks like it's fading in a bit early as well. They're trying to hook that inside, just ride right around the inside, and unfortunately they weren't able to get around it. I would say this is one of the hardest par threes on the course just because of the OB line and having to try and get the distance to get up there and stay away from the OB. Definitely. It's a great shot from Danny. Looks like a uh, Macbeth zone there. It's going to have to get creative here. Some very thick vines and trees in there, so let's see if he can get out. Up and on the green. That's a great shot right there. It was hard to see from that angle. Shout out to my brother Jason for doing the catch cam. Yeah, uh, these are some long holes, these blue pins. So once he got the drives, he started heading on to the next hole. Logan in a very tough position. It's, it's kind of one of those shots here where you either lay up or run it, be really aggressive and chance going into the woods again or chance hitting uh, these vines right in front of him. Let's see what he does. Oh. <laughs> Outstanding wow. shot. <laughs> you know, like we said, it's pretty common for people to end up in the woods over here just trying to get around that corner. Everybody having to be very scrappy here. Zach gets out and he's got a putt as well. I should mention Bart has uh, 17 career wins, three of those this year. And that right there is probably why. That's an outstanding putt. Great par save for him to go long of the basket. Danny here, I spoke with him. He's putting with uh, Streamline Pilots. Mm. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to can that one either. Still think the nerves maybe kind of got it to him a bit. This is a very good card for this final nine. I was really excited when I saw uh, who had made it on. This is a great card. Mm. Yeah, it looked like he might have been a little bit quick with that. And, Pay the consequence there. He's going to tap his in. The rest of the guys are going to do the same. Looks like uh, two bogeys and three pars. Hard hole to birdie that one is. Mm -hmm. Moving on to hole number 10, 450 foot par three. Um, as you can see, the posts on the left side of the fairway there in the parking lot is OB. <clears throat> They're gonna be uh, trying to, like a hyzer or maybe even uh, just a hyzer flip. It looks like what Logan's trying to go with here, trying to get a lot of distance. It's flipping up for him. Uh, unfortunately fading out. And that one's gonna land on me, just on the other side of those balls. I mean, another, you know, four feet and he would have been in bounds, unfortunately. Wasn't able to stay in. And this looks like a great drive from Bart. Yeah, up on the side of that hill, that's that's a great spot to be. This one also, I mean, uh, 450 feet, but you know, you've got to put some moves on it to get up there. Like Sam was trying to turn that one a little bit, but didn't get any turn. Oh, almost OB. Uh, soccer field as well as OB, but fortunately he hit the fence and was able to sit down. That could have been a nasty roll. Yeah. Should 
Shout out to Jamie and Macy, Nick, a bunch of the uh, Morristown locals there. You can see over to the right side. Macy actually won, got her first uh, FPO win during this tournament. It's a great shot from Zach. He's going to have a jump putt for a two. I don't think I've actually ever seen this whole two. Have you, Terry? Uh, I've seen it once. I've played last tournament we had. I've seen uh, Dickerson on a practice round throw one about five feet from the basket. Wow. <laughs> no surprise there with Dickerson. He's, he's got an arm on him, that yeah. guy. <laughs> Good shot from Danny as well. I mean, you're just, here they're trying to get, you know, quite a bit of distance and give their give themselves a putt or just a soft up shot. He's done just that. He's looking at a putt for his part. Sam not being aggressive. That's a smart play there. I thought it was kind of funny here. Sam laid up and Zach started saying boo. And then, and then Bart laid up and Zach said smart move. So, <laughs> Zach's always a character out there on the course, making everybody laugh. Zach running it. Not quite, but that's going to be a par. Logan's going to have to make this one to uh, get his par here. That's a giant putt. Yeah. That uphill putt and, you know, a potential for rollaway as well with this basket being on the side of the hill. Danny a little bit right. Some kids on the soccer field screaming, so. Fortunately, he was able to make the putt. Didn't let it get to him too much. Tap in from Sam. Zach as well, and then Bart and Logan are going to tap those in also. So after hole 10 here, we're not going to go to 11, we're going to skip on over to hole 16. It's just a short walk up the hill. As you can see there, uh, Logan with the solo bogey and the rest uh, pars. Hole 16 is 445 foot hole. Uh, plays uphill as well. It takes a crush to get up there. Probably going to do some sort of hyzer flip or turnover, it looks like. Not a bad shot. He's going to, you know, he's, it's a good position shot right there. He should have uh, maybe an easy flick to get up towards the basket. And that is looking great. Yeah, that's, yeah. you can't get any better than that. <laughs> no. You can't ask for any more. Past the short pin. I mean, it takes a lot to even reach the short pin. As you can see, it's a little bit uphill. Kind of hard to tell from the camera, but it definitely plays a lot longer than it looks. Good shot from Zach. Looks like he's not trying to bite off too much, just a placement shot. You definitely want to be right side than left side. If you go on the left side, you're in the, those trees, and it's super hard to get to the basket. Mm -hmm. I asked Danny what he was throwing for distance, and he said uh, relativity. So I don't know if it's this one here or the dark blue one he's been throwing. Not a bad shot. I mean, he got caught up uh, early, but he could still get up and down for a birdie three. Logan, as you've seen from the rest of the video, he's got a huge arm, so he's going for distance here. And he gets it. That one seems to get to air if he falls. <laughs> How he did that, I don't know, but it's a great shot. It's kind of pinched up by some trees here. I hated being right here to the right of Danny while he was throwing, but I was pinched up and there was trees right behind him. Didn't look like it affected him too much. It's a great shot. He got up and down. He's got a putt for his birdie. A 
One thing I don't like about this hole is that yellow pin. You know, if you play a placement shot, it's, it could be right in your way when going towards the blue pin. So. Yes, definitely. <clears throat> I know it's just one more obstacle, just like another tree on the course, but it can definitely get in your head. Zach went a little bit wider than I expected there. Bowling with a turnover, the putter almost cans it. Mm -hmm. You can tell just from Logan's game, he's used to wooded courses. I mean, he knows how to weave his way in and around the trees. He proves that with every shot. Great shot from Sam. Just a soft putter shot yeah. for the, on this one. I mean, anytime you're throwing a putter on your second shot on this hole, I mean, you know you've had a good drive. See what Danny can do again. Well, Great. Uh, That's, a Danny I know. That's a good party right there. Outstanding putt. See that one again. What do you think? That 60 feet? 55, 60 feet? I was exactly about to say 60. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Outstanding, yeah. Glad to see Danny finally capitalize on one. Good putt from Zach as well. I'm saying here, <laughs> teasing Zach a little bit. Love to see you have these guys get along on the course, you know. Wow, great play. <laughs> Sam up and in. Like Bart and Logan have a couple ten foot putts here. Should be no problem for these guys. Birdie from Logan as well. Looks like we had uh Four birdies and one par on that hole. So, if you come to this course and you want to play that, that's how you want to play it right there. Moving to hole 17, 455 feet. This is a tricky hole. Mm. Unfortunately, got caught up early. That is the one thing you don't want to do here. Uh, there's a lot of trees in this fairway, and. Uh, you just want something like for Zach here. He's wanted uh, to hyzer, hyzer, hyzer pretty much on this flick. Straight down towards the gallery. <laughs> Shout out to Jason Ferguson. Some great moves getting away from it. And for the first time in BDGC history, the gallery gets the backtrack here just because of these moves. A great shot from Zach as well, but the gallery, I just wanted to show this as well and show you the other angle that Jason was able to catch. How he, how these guys miss that, I have no clue, but shout out to Chuck and Adam there, a couple more locals. <laughs> Logan here, as I said earlier, very scrappy player. He's going for this left side gap. You don't see this often, but I've heard of it working. Logan's gonna try it. The shot is just insane. Absolutely. I don't see you, I, even being a lefty, I don't see you. Look at that. Crowd absolutely loves it. He knew he did something special there. Yeah. As soon as he let go of it. I mean, you're not gonna see many people get down there where he's at on this hole. I know they were talking about right after that throw that he threw it the round before that, and they said the throw over the round before that was almost better than that one. Wow. I couldn't imagine. You don't see that line very often. To see it work out like that is just amazing. That's a great turnover flick from Danny there. I don't wonder what he was throwing there. As we said, this you just want to go left, left, left. Great shot from Bart as well. I mean, he's 
you know, if they're playing the short, so you had an easy putt there, but this long pin is pretty far out there. Yeah. I'd say about 100 feet past the yellow pin, mm -hmm. is that right? A four on this hole, if you take a four or a par on this hole, you're, you can be happy with it for sure. No, oh, absolutely. Good flick from Sam. Let's see what he can do. He was just trying to get out. That was a placement shot, as you could tell. From here, you're looking at probably another 250 feet of the basket. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. oh, that's an unfortunate kick right there. You can see Zach, while we was talking about trying to go left, you know, he went a little bit straighter than he wanted to, and he ended up on the back side of the right side of the fairway, so he's once again going to have to do a overhand shot. He gets almost through, but kind of on the edge still. Danny here, I remember him asking for a matrix. This is a mid-range from MVP. Even throwing a mid-range on your second shot here is quite impressive because mm -hmm. it's still a lot of work to do. Shot. That's exactly how you want to do it. That's a great flip from Danny. I remember watching Bart line this one up, and I, I couldn't tell if he was going to go right side of that tree or left side. It's right there in his line. Pops for the left side. Looks like he turned it over a little bit. Mm -hmm. Sam, as you can see here, not much to work with. Pinched up between two trees, off into the woods. I think he's flicking a uh, raptor here. Okay. Starting to fix it. Off oh. the cage. That is outstanding. This man just sold some raptors, I'll tell you that much. Outstanding turnover. He knew it was going to flex out on him. One foot to the right, and that was in the back. A great shot right there. Zach sees Sam do it, and he said, I'm going to try it as well. Maybe a convict. It looked like it had the uh, Paige Pierce convict stamp on it. Yeah. That's a good flick as well. Unfortunately, it skipped out a little bit on him, but you know that was still a great shot. Logan, as you can see here, has a soft putter shot for a two on this hole, which you're not going to see very often. And I almost can't. <laughs> Logan is just such a such a great player. I love watching him play. You know, we've seen it in Tennessee State's coverage, he's been in a lot of it. So go back and watch some of that. See some of his shots. I mean, just an outstanding player. Bart wasn't able to connect with his putt there. Zach a little bit closer. Let's see what he can do. Nice spot. That's a great putt. See if Danny can work off of that putt from the last hole and get another one here. Okay, he gets a, yeah, absolutely. The birdie on this hole is outstanding score. I mean, seeing it on video is one thing, but seeing this hole in person, getting a three on this is just almost unheard of. Mm -hmm. This is a hard hole. Sam after that outstanding up shot. Bart up and in. He's like two birdies, two pars, and one bogey. Moving on to the final hole. Hole 18, 775 foot par 5. This is a crush. Yes. This is a, a new pad and the original pin placement for this hole. Uh, they wanted to extend this hole and they did a great job. You can see you throw out this 
little mouth of the opening here. There is OB on the left side over here. He's flexing towards it. Unfortunately, that one is going to land Logan OB, but he absolutely put a move on that one. This is a close one, too. I think Bart only has Logan by stroke here going into this hole, so that mm -hmm. OB definitely hurts Logan. Absolutely. Danny didn't quite get his turned over, but fortunately he's flexing out before the OB. He did end up on in the woods up there, just on the edge, so... Yeah, no OB stroke, but he's gonna, it's gonna be a hard shot from there. This one Zach can be pretty aggressive on. He's gonna be flexing away from the OB. And that's a great shot. Yeah. Morristown Locals did a lot of work getting this course in this condition, so shout out to everybody who worked on it. I know Robert hey. Smith also helped quite a bit. Bart looks like he's flexing out as well. Unfortunately, that one is going to land him OB also. Coming down the stretch here, Logan and Bart are both OB. Sam putting some moves on that one. That's a crush as well. As I said here, Danny's, you know, he didn't get the OB stroke, but this is a tough shot here. Uh, a hard angle. He's going to have to flip out and around. Hit the limbs, but fortunately it flexed back in. Hyzer shot straight towards the pin. Oh, almost puts it on the platform there. I mean, putting it on the platform from there, it's, it's easier said than done, that's for sure. Definitely close to 300 feet on that second shot from Danny. Oh, yeah. It's like Sam bounced off of it, off the mulch, and back off. <clears throat> Logan looking to be really aggressive here. He's He's got to try and get a stroke back here. Mm. Looking like a great shot. Bounced off the steps. Very important shot for Bart here. He sees that Logan has a putt. He's got to get up and down for a putt as well. Do you know how big that circle is there? I would say it's about 20 feet. That's what I was thinking. So, putting towards a, you know, uphill as well. It's a little bit raised, not too much. Oh. Zach, <laughs> just the worst skip, and Zach just jumped down onto the ground. He just fell down. After that. <laughs> Always a comedian on the course. Just such a great guy. He was right there. I mean, he could have had a, you know, 25-foot putt, and unfortunately it skipped. He's looking at about, what, 50, 50 yeah. 60, somewhere. Is it a good run? Mm -hmm. Shout out to Charlie Davenport over there on the right side. Good friend of ours. Mm-hmm. Just misses it. I remember late in the afternoon there was quite a bit of wind over at this basket. You can't really tell, but it's a great putt from yeah. Logan. Definitely needed that one. Mm -hmm. Birdie with an OB stroke, so maybe a soft par five. But you know, Logan can crush, so yeah. he did get quite a bit down there. Mm. Maybe a little nurse from Sam, you think, with this? gallery there. I mean, there was people walking behind us and then a bunch sitting there as well. That's a good one. Yeah. That's about a 25 foot putt, you know. After those two misses, that one's got to feel good. Bart up and in. Seals the deal. Yep. That's it right there. 
Bart's going to be your 2019 Morristown Spring Fling Champion. Just a great overall tournament. Definitely. He, uh, you know, like we said, the hot round at Kiwanis. And he was able to keep it on through the second round and the final nine. Mm. And the ace. Yeah, and an ace on hole one at Kiwanis. So. Unfortunately, Danny wasn't able to make his putt there. Zach up and in as well for a birdie. It's a good birdie after that crazy skip. That's going to do it. As you can see, Barton the winner with 28 down. Logan just one stroke behind at 27 down. Melton with 26 down. Sam Lee with 24 down. And uh, Danny fell a little bit behind, but he did shoot the hot round there in round two. So, uh, Thanks everybody for watching. If you'd like to get some BDGC merch, we've got dynamic discs, Innova discs, mini shirts, plenty of stuff. So uh, contact us if you want some BDGC merch and we will uh, get it shipped out to you. So uh, thanks to everybody for watching. As always, uh, thanks Tanner for joining me also. Yeah, thanks for having me guys. Well, absolutely. Uh, ran a great tournament as always. So uh, thanks for watching. Please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends and help promote disc golf in your area. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're getting ready for the final line on the uh, open division. And uh, let me share with you who will be uh, taking a place on the card. Uh, first of all, we have Bart Kowalewski. He's from uh, Poland originally, but now in uh, Washington, Michigan, representing Dismania. Second on the card, we have Logan Bowers from Rockville, Tennessee, what? What? representing Innova. Uh, third on the card is uh, none other than Zach Melton, representing Dynamic Disc from Gray, Tennessee. We have Sam Lee, who is from Mount Sterling, Kentucky representing Discraft. And then finally, we have Danny Parkins from Cookville, Tennessee, and he's representing MVP Disc Sports. So let's give all of these uh, men a good hand, would you? And wish them well here in this final line. Thank you for being here. <laughs>